Jean Piaget theorized that people create knowledge structures called schemas, which are altered by experiences through the processes of assimilation and accommodation to achieve equilibrium. His theories attempt to explain how children come to make sense of the world and learn. This is important to adolescent psychology because it helps us understand the thought process of kids. The process of assimilation occurs when someone comes into contact with a new experience and tries to understand it by fitting it into a pre-existing schema. As you can see in the image, the boy is calling the cat a dog. This is explained by the boy's previously existing schema of a furry four-legged animal, in this case, a dog. One. Now don't get me wrong, Sandy was just being metaphoric, but that clip shows an example of the conflict between a new experience and an existing schema within an individual. A child who has never seen a seagull before might call the rat with wings because they adjusted the new information to something that they've already constructed knowledge of. Accommodation is the opposite of assimilation. Accommodation occurs when new information changes the schema that an individual has developed by broadening the individual's understanding. Henry, what type of animal is that? Oh, a cat. How do you know it's a cat? By the way it looks. What does the dog look like? Well, it's flat your ears. My brother Henry has demonstrated that he understands the difference between a cat and a dog. This could be explained by the accommodation, because seeing these new animals would have changed the schema of furry four-legged creatures. As stated before, the presentation of a new stimulus may result in various forms of conflict. The conflict is resolved through assimilation and accommodation to reach a state of security called equilibrium. In conclusion, Piaget believed that knowledge was not self-evident, but was created through schemas and experiences that shaped them.